Needs. It's been non-stop where Casey McKinnon is at. She's live at a church in Chula Vista. Is that right? I mean, I've seen a steady stream of cars behind you, Casey. Been pretty busy the last couple hours. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People are in and people are out and they have things efficient and quick here. People are getting what they need and they're all social distancing. You don't even have to get out of your car. And speaking of the San Diego Food Bank, I'm joined by Jim Floros. Jim, good morning. Good morning to you. How are you? Good. So they were just talking about the general donation you got from Mission Fed yesterday. Talk a little bit about that and who's it helping and moving forward, how is that going to help all these families in need right now? Well, you know, Mission Fed has been a great partner of ours for many, many years. You know, local, supporting local. They did a great matching campaign. Uh, they were in the warehouse yesterday donating $360,000 which equates to 1.8 million meals. So, I mean, Mission Fed's got a great culture, giving back to the community. They've been a great partner of ours for a long time. So it's really been gratifying to see how the San Diego community is really rallying to make sure we're helping people in need. And those donations just help the San Diego Food Bank do what you guys do every single day, which is what's happening right now. Well, you know, we call this, we kind of have a joke, we call this Tuesday, although it's Saturday. So we're doing this all the time. So six days a week, we're partnering with local nonprofits throughout San Diego County. We've got 500 of them, plus in addition to that, about 200 distribution sites that are ours. So these are really the best way. They're grassroots, they're strategically located in neighborhoods, so people can come to something that's near their home, get the food they need. I think we're going to do about 500 families today. We're partnering with a couple of great not local nonprofits down here in Chula. It's just really about uh, helping people in need. So this is one of the smaller versions that I've been to of your distributions. Are you going to have any more mass distributions like you did at SCCCU Stadium in the past? You know, we, we did those. We did four. We did one at the, the stadium. We did one at Del Mar, Southwestern College, Grossmont Center. And they served a purpose. They shortened some lines. We also saw that a lot of people were being turned away. And you can really only logistically do a 1,000 cars. So the idea is doing something a little smaller, a little more grassroots. Everybody who shows up today is going to get food. And that's about client dignity. So this is really phase three and we're really just going to go back to what brought us to the dance. What does the future look like for phase three? Well, phase three is again really investing in that uh, grassroots approach. You know, before COVID, we were feeding about 350,000 people a month and now that number is nearly 600,000. But the tried and true system is still there. That grassroots approach of those agencies and our distribution sites. So we're just going to take all of our agencies and just pump as much food literally into the food chain. We're going to expand our mobile pantry program. So if we have some hot spots that maybe are, there's an additional need, but then it really it's about just getting food out to the community in a grassroots approach. Jim, thank you so much. I'm going to walk over here and talk to some volunteers. I'm going to try and put my mask on real quick. Hi, you guys. Good morning. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. What does it mean for you to be out here today helping people in need? Um, it means to be helping the community and serving the Lord. What's your name? Mike. Mike, nice to meet you. Nice Thank you for doing you what you do. Hi, good morning. I love your Woo! purple hat. <laughs> All right, so actually, you brought the flowers here today. Um, Etna did. No, well, yeah, Etna did. Actually, I'm just, um, I'm representing Etna because, you know, we're all working together, but um, it's it's just, we're all trying to work together to, you know, serve the community. You know, it's, it's really about bridging the services and, again, just making sure that we supply the need. Do you come out here often to these types of things? Yes, yes. We're, we do we do a lot of different variety of things, not just these kind of distributions. We do um, deliveries of Luna Grill meals and other restaurants that have joined forces with us. So we're active nonstop. I'm sorry, I totally forgot to ask. What's your name? Rosie Montaña. Rosie Montaña, thank you so much. You guys, we're going to send things back to you in the studio, but people are having fun out here, and we're having a good time helping people in need in the San Diego Food Bank. Like I said, they're never going to run out of food, and they just do things right. I'm going to send it back to you guys. We are live at West Hills Church in Chula Vista. Everybody's going to get food who shows I up. know. And again, yeah. it's the generous donations from whether it's Federal Mission Credit Union to just regular San Diegans yeah. who are able to contribute to the food bank. And so that's, uh, you know, it's, it's everybody helping out. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Casey. People helping people.